everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is Daytona 500 qualifying for the season number four Chick-fil-A Cup Series Daytona 500. 24 drivers in each round. I'm going to list out the guys in each round right now. We got the one of John Hart, the two of Tristan Allen, the four of Trey Barto, the five of Elijah Gordon, the nine of Zachary Fitzwater, the 13 of Caleb Hoffman, the 19 of Matt Tuck, the 22 of Ryan Madden, the 24 of Jacob Reed, the 26 of Aaron Henderson, the 29 of Morgan Greppler, the 30 of Alex Bonsignor, the 31 of Grayson Acevedo, the 32 of Cameron Gaju, the 38 of Cameron Garlington, the 39 of Justin Roberts, the 42 of Wolfgang Stone, the 46 of Davey Johnson, the 48 of Nicholas Amadio, the 51 of Riley White, the 55 of Meliello Smooth Fest winner, Annie Thomas, the 62 of Colby Jackson, the 78 of Tyler Selzman, and the 83 of Max Newworth. So those are the guys in round number one. The top six advance onto the final round. And uh, the other 24 drivers will qualify in a group as well. The top six over there will advance to the final round. And the top 12 in the final round, final round will battle for the pole. Drivers that do not advance in this round... We'll move on to duel number one. Drivers that do, uh, that do not advance in round number two, we'll move on to duel number two. All even number position finishing, uh, all of the even finishing order drivers in the final round will be in duel number two. All the odd finishing uh, qualifying, I don't even know. All the odd finishers in the final round will be in duel number one. All the even finishers in the final round will be in duel number two. Right now, Caleb Hoffman is the fastest in the number 13. He's clocked in at a 42.484. Returning to the number 13 once again in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. He drove this car in season number one. He drove the number 15 in season number two. Went back to the 13 last season in season number three and returned to the number 13 here in season number four. Drivers that are going to get the best speeds are those that draft off of a guy in front of them. John Arndt seems to have a pretty fast car here in the one. It might just be fast in comparison to the 32 of Cameron Gaju, who is just getting out on the racetrack. Right now, Matt Tuck, the fastest on the board. And remember, the top six advance on to the final round to battle for the pole. The uh, top two uh, part-time... Well, actually, for, when it comes to the part-time guys... Um, the highest finishing part-time driver in each duel will advance on to the Daytona 500. All 40 full-time drivers will make the 500 this year. Uh, unlike last season, where we had quite a few part-time guys miss the race, I did not want that to happen again, and it won't. So all 40 full-time guys will make the Daytona 500, and the highest finishing part-time driver in each duel will advance on as well. Got a part-time guy here, the 30 of Alex Bonsignor. He's third on the chart right now, looking to get the pole. But right now, it's this number 48 of Nicholas Samadio, who is up top. Caleb Hoffman, which uh, drives the number 13. That is the car Nicholas Samadio drove in season number two when he won the Daytona 500. So Nicholas Samadio has some good memories with that number 13 when he was with that team in season number two. Right now driving the 48, and right now top of the board in round 1A, looking to advance on to the final round. Right now, if the session were to end, it would be Nicholas Samadio, Caleb Hoffman, the 30 of Alex Bonsignor, and Bonsignor just went to the top of the board in the number 30, drafting off the 55 of Annie Thomas. Selzman with a good run. He's up to second in this group. So now it's Bonsignor, Selzman, Samadio, Hoffman, Tuck, and it changed again, the 46 of Davey Johnson, with a good run, drafting off of Jacob Reed. Bonsignor, though, the part-time driver, fastest in round 1A. Good run for the number 30, unsponsored Chevrolet, trying to make it into the Daytona 500. Right now, it's Bonsignor, Selzman, Sam Edio, Davey Johnson, the 13 of Caleb Hoffman, and Matt Tuck, who would be the 6th at advance on, but that just changed. Annie Thomas has moved her way into the top five. She won the Mellow Yellow Smooth Fest coming off that win. She's got a fast number 55, and right now in the top six, Riley White is now in the top six in the number 51, drafting off of Selzman. So it's Bonsignor, Selzman, Sam Edio, Cameron Garlington in the number 38, 
the past champion here in the day or in the Chick Fil A Cup series. Drafting off of these guys has moved himself up the fourth place. Matt Tuck right now on the outside looking in. Top of the board, Matt Tuck in the 19. I did not know he was going to do that, but Matt Tuck fastest. Right now it's Matt Tuck, Alex Bonsignor, Tyler Selzman, Annie Thomas, Nicholas Samadio, and the 31 of Grayson Acevedo with a great run late in the going. Practice, or the qualifying session here, is going to end very shortly. I'm not entirely sure if the clock is accurate or not. We may end up with extra time, you know, kind of like soccer is. But uh, that clock right there could be the end of this. I'm not entirely sure if it is or not. These guys are going to race one more time. And uh, this will be their final lap here in this group. So, Acevedo, well, that's it. So we'll see the standings here for practice number one. The six drivers advancing on to the final round from round 1A are Matt Tuck, Alex Bonsignor, Tyler Selzman, Annie Thomas, Nicholas Samadio, and rookie Grayson Acevedo. Those six guys will battle for the pole in the final round. But we got to see who the other six guys are in round 1B, so stick around for that. Um, and to see the guys not advancing, Cameron Garlington, Zachary Fitzwater, Riley White, Wolfgang Stone, uh, all those guys from 7th on back will be in duel number 1. Cameron Garlington will start 4th for duel number 1. And uh, see quite a few uh, part-time drivers here in this group. So a lot of guys, a lot of part-time guys are going to be in duel number 1. So you might want to be the part-time guys in duel number 2. might be a little easier to get into the 500 over there. But we're just going to have to see what happens. So it's Matt Tuck. Alex Bonsignor, Tyler Selzman, Annie Thomas, Nicholas Samadio, and Grayson Agavedo, the six drivers advancing on to the final, ro final round to battle for the Daytona 500 pole. We'll see which other six drivers will join them right now. And here we are for round 1B. So we'll see which six drivers will join the six that advanced in group or in round 1A, group 1, group 2, you know, whatever you want to call it. Here in this group, we got Chris Dodd, Tyler Myers, William Brock, Harajel Arvin Alonzo, Cameron Black, Tristan Walker, Eric Hyden, Garrett Zanor, the 17 of Dean Wicker, the 18 of Reagan Whitlock, the 20 of Marty Johnson, the 21 of Gabriel Wanderlei, the 23 of Clint Buchanan, the 27 of Jesse Turner, the 34 of Blaine Keyes, the 35 of Dylan Young, the 40 of, I, I'm sorry, I forgot who drove the 40. The 41 of Dan Park, the 43 of Nicholas Gratton, the 44 of Stuart Gratton, the 47 of Jordan Newman, the 88 of Matt Dalio, the 95 of Alex Tanker, and the 98 of Ferdinand Gabat. So we'll see... Now this all plays out, and it does appear that the number six of Tyler Myers was the first one to get out there. I'm not sure if this is him completing a lap or not. Looks like he's starting one. Got the 15, Eric Hyden. He might be the first guy to complete a lap here. So my apologies for not knowing who drives the number 40. I know I should know that. When I see the car, I should... Uh, should uh, be able to identify who drives it. Got the name bar. It's Jonathan Fitzwater. Totally new driver here on Napa Fan, so that's why I couldn't remember it. But he drives the number 40 uh, part-time this season. So he's one of those part-time guys. Dylan Young, another one of those part-time guys. And I think there's one more part-time guy. You know what? It might just be Dylan Young and Jonathan Fitzwater, the only two part-time guys in group number two here. But, uh, as I said earlier, the highest finishing part-time driver in each dual race will advance on to the Daytona 500. And it looks like this might be an easy one for these part-time guys here. It's going to be either between Jonathan Fitzwater or Dylan Young, most likely. It's possible that Alex Bonsignor could end up um, in this uh, in duel number two because he advanced onto the final round. He could end up with an even starting spot in the final round of qualifying. But, uh, other than that, this is an easy group for part-time guys 
the way it's looking, it's going to be between Dylan Young and Jonathan Fitzwater uh, to see who can make it into the Daytona 500. But anyways, we're looking to see who can make it on into the final round of qualifying. Right now, the 3 of Chris Dodd, never mind. The 18 of Reagan Whitlock just went to the top of the board. Racing side by side with Tyler Myers. So right now, it's Whitlock, Dodd, now Dalio. Gabriel Wanderlei just went to the top of the board in the number 21. I think we got a big pack somewhere. Not really. Biggest pack looks to be like three cars. But that guy right there, Gabriel Wanderlei, on the pole, or in first place right now. Not on the pole yet. But uh, right now it's Wanderlei, Chris Dodd, Nicholas Gratton, Matt Dalio, Reagan Whitlock, and Eric Hyden, who would advance on to the final round of qualifying at the 20 here of Marty Johnson racing with this pack. Top of the board, Clint Buchanan in the 23. Going the wrong way. He just completed a lap, and we got ourselves a pretty big pack here. Part-time driver Dylan Young's part of it. And uh, getting the pole position, if you're a pole, uh, if a, you're a part-time driver and you get the pole position, or the outside pole position, you're going to be in the Daytona 500 no matter what. But Chris Dodd got a really good draft off of the pack in front of him. And he went to the top of the board. So right now it's Chris Dodd, Clint Buchanan, Gabriel Wanderlei, Nicholas Granton, the 47 of Jordan Newman, and the 44 of Stuart Granton. This three is going to get another good lap here. Look at what he's doing. Going to the inside, trying to draft off the seven of William Brock. Wanderlei to the top of the board, but Chris Dodd did improve his lap. Now William Brock's in the top six. Marty Johnson's in the top six as well. Matt Dalio, Clint Buchanan. Oh, these guys, this pack right here, drafting off of Gabon and Alonzo in front of them. They're going to get really good runs, and this will probably be the final lap for these drivers. You see the time running out. Gabriel Wanderlei looking to get a good draft off of Hair Joe Larv and Alonzo. That's really going to give him a fast lap. We'll see. Will these guys push Alonzo and Gabon into the top six? It's possible. But this pack right here, we're going to see some fast speeds. Dalio moved up, but it's still the same top six. But they're all in this pack. Gabriel Wanderlei, Chris Dine, Matt Dalio, William Brock, the 20 of Marty Johnson, and the 23 of... Of Clint Buchanan, I'm sorry, Clint Buchanan's not in this pack. Now they're going around the 17 of Dean Wickard. Alonzo starting to pull away from these guys, and it looks like Wickard has a little bit of a slow car in this number 17. 30 more seconds back on the clock. And Alonzo, I'm not sure if he's going to get a good lap or not. He kind of semi-drafted off of Dean Wickard there. We'll see. Focusing with these guys because this is the biggest pack on the racetrack. Well, maybe not. Dylan Young in the 35 might get a good lap here. He's drafting off the 18 of Reagan Whitlock in front of him. And if they can complete this lap, which they're not going to be able to, Dylan Young might have been able to get into the top six with that, but he was not able to. Time ran out. So the top six advancing on to the final round of qualifying will be Gabriel Wanderlei, who was fastest in this round. Chris Dodd, both rookies, both drivers making their first ever start on Napa Fan. Then we got longtime veteran Matt Dalio, who will make the Daytona 500. Uh, he missed the Daytona 500 in season number three, but he'll make it no matter what this season uh, because he is a full-time driver. But he's going to advance on to the final round. We got William Brock, a rookie, Marty Johnson, a rookie, and Clint Buchanan, a rookie. Five rookies in the top six. The only veteran, Matt Dalio. He's been in every season of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. So you see Reagan Whitlock, Tyler Myers, Harry J. Larvin, Alonzo, Jordan Newman, Nicholas Gretton, and everyone behind him. They're going to be in duel number two. And I said in the first duel that uh, Cameron Grunkin would start in fourth place um, after finishing seventh in his round of qualifying and his round of qualifying. But I was wrong. He's going to start seventh. I did not do the math right. But, hey, it's better to do the math right, math wrong, and something like that than in determining who actually makes the 500 like I did last year. That was not good. But anyways, the six drivers advancing on to the final round of qualifying are Gabriel Wanderlei, Chris Dodd, Matt Dalio, William Brock, Marty Johnson, and Clint Buchanan. So those six guys will join Matt Tuck, Alex Bonsignor, Tyler Selzman, Annie Thomas, Nicholas Samadio, and Grayson Acevedo to see who will win the poll. 
for the season four Daytona 500. So you will got you will see the final round right now. So here we are, the final round of Daytona 500 qualifying for the season number four Chick Fil A Cup Series Daytona 500. The guys advancing on to this final round include Matt Tuck, part-time driver Alex Bonsignor. Tyler Selzman, Annie Thomas, Nicholas Samadio, Grayson Acevedo, Gabriel Wanderlei, Chris Dodd, Matt Dalio, William Brock, Marty Johnson, and Clint Buchanan. Those are the 12 drivers here in this final round. And one of those guys will start on the pole for the Daytona 500. First guy out, William Brock in the 7. And what's so interesting about this is we have ourselves... Um, Eight rookies here in the final round. Only four drivers here in the final round have raced in the previous Chick-fil-A Cup Series season. Eight of them are rookies to the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. And um, Gabriel Wanderlei and uh, Chris Dodd, neither of those guys have ever made a start on Napa Fan. So the rookies definitely showing some strength here in Daytona 500 qualifying. And it is very possible... That one of those guys will start on the pole for the Daytona 500. We only have 12 cars, so those packs that we saw in the first couple of rounds might not happen here. So it may end up being just single car runs for most of these guys, but this is a five minute round, so there's plenty of time for these guys to form a pack. You see Boxinor here in the 30, trailing behind Map Dalio. And if Bonsignor gets on the front row, he's in the Daytona 500 no matter what. So, say he ended up um, going to duel number two. If he, have a, if he got a front row position, he would be the guy to advance on to the Daytona 500 in that duel, even if he were to finish in last place. So, what Dylan Young and Jonathan Fitzwater don't want to happen is for this guy to start in the outside pole, because if he does... Neither Dylan Young or Jonathan Fitzwater will make it into the 500. And uh, if this guy starts on the pole, all those other part-time guys will make it into the 500. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this whole part-time thing falls out. And right now, Boxingor drafting Matt Dalio, looking to get a good lap. But he gained a lot of his speed um, on his first lap there, his opening lap. And... Uh, Looks like he's going to go side by side with Dalio here. He might have gotten some good speed there at the start, but right now, side by side, and now that's going to slow him down. Grayson Acevedo right now on the pole position, but we still have seven guys yet to make a lap here, and uh, plenty of chances for Acevedo to lose the pole. But he is drafting off the 78 of Tyler Selzman. He's actually going to go to the inside of him and pass him. Bonsignor has gone up to second place. The only two positions that really matter are the first place position and the second place position. And now it is the 21 of Gabriel Wanderlei. He was out front. And uh, wait, not anymore. It's Acevedo who takes back the pole position. So it's Acevedo and Wanderlei who are the two drivers starting on the front row at the moment. But it might change here. Selzman might get a good lap here. We're just going to have to see. So the first two positions um, here in the final round of qualifying will start in the first two positions for the Daytona 500. No matter what happens in the duels, if they crash, they crash. They're still going to start on the front row. So if you get the pole here, you get the pole for the Daytona 500 and start first. That's a pretty big deal right there. And I think some of the best guys are... Probably Clint Buchanan, Acevedo, and Tyler Selzman. Right now, it's Grayson Acevedo who will have the pole position, and Tyler Selzman who would have the outside pole position. But Clint Buchanan's back here. He's going to get a really good draft off the 78 and the 31. And the number 23 of Clint Buchanan, a rookie. This is his first ever start. This will be his first ever start in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. He's pushing Selzman. That's going to give Selzman a good lap. Just going to have to see what happens. Clint Buchanan now looking to the inside of Tyler Selzman. Now Acevedo's back here. Not sure if he's going to have enough time to complete another lap, though. Clint Buchanan, top of the board in the number 23. And he can thank Tyler Selzman for that help. Selzman's going to be on the outside pole. Well, he's on the outside pole right now. It's not confirmed yet that he's going to be on the outside pole. And Acevedo now getting a run, drafting the 23. 
the front row is going to be two of these three cars. No doubt. Clint Buchanan, Grayson Acevedo, and Tyler Selzman. One of these three drivers is going to get it. But who is it going to be? Acevedo got a good draft, but he's coming into the pit road. And that's going to give the pole to the 23 of Clint Buchanan. Tyler Selzman will get the outside pole position and start second for the Daytona 500. Unless, no, we're not done yet here. I'm not sure if either of these guys are going to get a good run here on this lap. This should be the final time. So we have 13 seconds before uh, the final round of qualifying is complete. Let's see here. I don't think these guys are going to get a uh, good enough lap. And they're not. And the number 23, Clint Buchanan, has won the pole position for the Daytona 500 in season number four of the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. Tyler Selzman will start alongside him in the Great American Race. So... You are going to see Clint Buchanan, Grayson Acevedo, William Brock, Annie Thomas, Alex Bontinor, and Matt Tuck in duel number one. You guys are going to see Tyler Selzman, Gabriel Wanderlei, Nicholas Samadio, Matt Dalio, Chris Dodd, and Marty Johnson in duel number two. You guys will see the duels on Friday right here on Napa Van Meliello duel, and it should be good. And, uh... That is it for me. So congratulations to Clint Buchanan for winning the pole position for the Daytona 500 in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series. And also congratulations to Tyler Selzman for getting the outside pole. So on Friday, it's the Mel Yellow Duel, and we will see which part-time drivers will advance to the Daytona 500. Six part-time drivers are going to be in duel number one, and it's going to be only two part-time drivers in duel number two. It's going to be very interesting, and you're going to want to stick around for that. So thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Clint Buchanan, and I will see you guys later.